Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today, we're going to unbox the smallest wheel on the market available right now, DB Code M10 IV. So, let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. First up, also big thanks to myewheel.com for providing me this wheel for testing purposes. If you want to get a wheel like that or any other wheel in Europe, feel free to use my coupon code WRONGWAY to get an additional 5% off. I do also get a kickback from these orders. Uh, if you want to get it anywhere else in the world, more links below. Anyways, uh, it's not every day we get a box this small for a electric unicycle. This box is like, well, this wheel just weighs 13 kilograms itself, the box a little bit more. So it's a nice breath of fresh air to see a new AUC that is actually not weighing 40 or 50 kilograms. All right, well, new, I'm kind of late to the party, but anyways. And in the box we receive, uh, what is this? My evil stickers, very important. A user manual. Some of the things on the instruction manual include that this is a entertainment product and not a motor vehicle, uh, that there's automatic um, protective functions like alarms, etc, etc. And you shouldn't be 14 years old when you're riding this. Essentially a lot of the demographic for this wheel. And yeah, don't ride it in dark night. And they say you should get an additional headlight. So they know their lights aren't that powerful and do not ride in snow or rainy days. Um, yeah, there's no IP rating on this wheel. We'll check how water resistant it is later in the teardown. Oh, actually, so they changed it up a little. There's a bit more safety information here. And they actually tell themselves how um, safe they consider their product. Uh, so charge every two months. Uh, I guess they don't want the battery to drain to zero and don't ride under zero degrees Celsius or like cold weather, I guess that's for the safety of the battery. Then do not charge or store the product indoors, confined space or public spaces. So if something happens, I guess the only thing they want to do is to say that, hey, we told you, we shouldn't do that. Just charge outside. Uh, then other safety gun guidelines and uh, experience sharing, I guess it's experience riding. Remember, do not drive under pressure. Empty speed doesn't mean maximum speed. I guess they meant road here. I mean, you can read through that. And then we have the whole Bigode lineup. So very usual user manual for Bigode. Certificate of compliance, a nice bit of foam. I like that, good quality, doesn't leave any residue. All right, so let's get it out of the box, which shouldn't be a hassle at all. Easy. And what else do we get in the box? We get cables. American plug and European plug. We need the European one. And a charger, which is like right at the bottom here. Let's see. I believe one and a half amp charger in the box. GX16-4 port for 84 volt wheels. It's 126 watts. So around what, five hours for a full charge? Something like that. I don't know if it's the charge port that isn't hot or if the charger has short circuit protection. In any way, that's already a lot better. I guess I'll check the charge port once we will disassemble the wheel. Here's the wheel itself, wrapped in foil, and then we can get everything out. So I saw the M10 IV already before, I know how it looks like. I actually also rode it inside the store for a small bit, um, but we can cars, <laughs> but I didn't get a chance to review it yet. Uh, we can find the new 11 inch tire here on this wheel. So it's a six and a half inch rim and a tire which is just fatter, bigger, and I believe it's a tube tire. So hopefully we won't have the same problems as we, as we had on the M10 III with flat tires. So it's written tubeless on it. Um, I guess that means it's tubeless. But still, it seems like this tire will hold on a bit better than the one we had before on the M103. The other one was very thin. Then we have pedals here. And the pedals are a bit nicer, I believe, than the, the ones on the M103. But that's something I have to test yet. With some very big milled-in studs, so I'm not sure how this will work. And they're also angle adjustable. So adjust your angle, don't ride with flat pedals like these. I mean, unless you really like it, you can also adjust them like that. 
really cool. All right, so compared to the M10 3, we do have now a bigger battery, 750 watt hours, so we should get a bigger range compared to the 512 we had before. Motor is more powerful, now 1000 watts, and uh, yeah, a higher top speed, maybe even 40, 45 kilometers an hour. Not sure if I'm gonna go that fast on such a small wheel, but hey, it is apparently possible. I wouldn't say it's the safest though to do that. And uh, yeah, all in all, it's just still a very small wheel designed for, I would say children most of the time. But if you're a bigger rider, maybe gently you can ride that too. But look at that here, this element, it's so thin. So I don't know how this will hold up in a crash. I believe I already saw a bent one somewhere on the internet. So on the side, this is the wire to the motor and you like cover it up with this piece, which has a cut in part, which is, I mean, it's kind of cool that the part is like cut in there, but uh, I don't know, just, uh, it's just a big old thing, I guess. And on the, on the front, we have a light, which we can turn on as well. And how do we turn off transport mode here? Okay, just press five times. It's balancing. It's such a toy, oh my God. So we have the front light as well. Oh, it's a very, seems like to be like a good beam for a wheel of this size. Probably it also goes a bit higher, uh, brighter if you speed up. <laughs> so funny to hold a small wheel like that. It's, uh, it's very cool that Bigod keeps making those. They're still the only one on the market that makes that make a wheel of this size. Okay, so when we turn it on again, here in the back, we also have a tail light, which looks very, very cool. And it has like many modes. I believe if you're turning then, oh yeah, you have turn signals. This looks very good. I wish Bigode put that on other wheels as well. And the whole thing here on the top is a bit transparent. So uh, you can see the insides there. And I believe the handle is very close to the capacitor. So I hope Oh yeah, it's very close. I hope that doesn't break during a fall. I don't think this is the best wheel to, to handle tumbles, but I guess we're yet to see about that. Here on the front, we can also see the usual display we find on other Bigode wheels. So awesome, it's there. Speed, battery level, mode, and temperature of the motherboard. And yeah, that's about it. I like how the button is also in a nicer spot now than on the M104. It's like easier to reach with one hand. And here's also the charge port. You also have a blue light here, if the light is off. So it's sort of like a daytime running light. Interesting. There is no lift switch. So if you want to lift this wheel up, you have to turn it off. Okay, let, let me put on the side pads. All right, so you can see actually here are grooves all around the wheel, which go into these parts on the side pads. So keep that in mind when aligning. And then we can just put them in here and everything that lines pretty nicely and neatly. Okay, seems now it's fine. Okay, I, I really don't like the wire being like next to your leg, but I guess it is what it is. I'm not gonna lie though, those pads are pain. They're actual pain. They're very thin and hard. That's what she said. And I don't believe I'll be able to ride this without putting any additional foam on here on this side. Like if you step right away onto it, it's fine because you don't touch the side of the shell so much. But if you oh want to mount or dismount, it it's pressing very, very firmly against your shin. So if you will get, ugh, I will like that, put something on here to avoid more pain. All right, so the wheel is up, the wheel is working. It's uh, probably one of the most fun and unusual experiences you can get on an electric unicycle. Still pretty powerful. I guess now I'll test it. We'll make a ride review, then a teardown and a main complete review of this wheel. I guess I wish it came with a street tire. Maybe I will change that after a while of riding the wheel. I don't think that the off-road tire is the best, best choice for this wheel because it's not really designed for off-road. It's designed for cruising on the street or on the sidewalk, pedestrian pathway and so on. Only thing I would probably do is also keep in mind not to like push too much against the side of the shell, not to ride on one leg because yeah, those metal elements on the side are pretty thin. Anyways, I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited to test this thing out. 
It's more expensive, it's bigger than the M10 III, but maybe now it will be also more usable than the M10 III, maybe also more stable, better range, etc., etc. I will also get a trolley handle for it. Now it doesn't have one, but soon I'll get one from my e-wheel. So with that said, if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.